Yeah, I heard about the, the concept of uh, software analysis and measurement uh, quite a long time ago in the late 90s, in fact. And I've been very excited by the concept at that time, and I saw the business value immediately, but it has been quite difficult to have it uh, really approved and uh, uh, implemented uh, within the, the organizations. And finally, with the offshoring model that uh, we needed to embrace, I really found an opportunity this time to, uh, to build a strong business case to control uh, offshoring. Mainly, the problem uh, was to control the quality of the deliverables done by the offshore. Because you, you really you provide specification to the offshore, the offshore have process in place, CMMI level 5 uh, compliance, but in fact, uh, what they deliver, you don't know exactly what is the level of quality. So is the quality increase, decrease, you don't know. And the, the only way to really uh, measure this quality without an automated tool is to do code review. And code review, as I said during my presentation, you have uh, two possibilities. Either you do an extensive code review, which take a huge amount of time and an effort, uh, human effort, or you do like uh, what we do in the, the, the industry, you do some random pickup of product and uh, you check the quality. But anyway, it's also huge, it's not comprehensive, and uh, you don't know what is the level of the quality at the end. So what is int very interesting uh, using such an automated tool, it's really that it provides you with facts and figures uh, on the go. You need really to control what the, the, the offshore is doing because you, you don't see uh, what he is doing. And uh, you work on, uh, on delivery times, on deadline, on SLA, but uh, really you, you, you have to measure whether the offshorer respects your quality standard and that the deliverable will meet the standard. 